The content of this video speaks of sexual violence towards women and may be triggering for some and unsuitable for children. Another installment of Up for Debate, a show in which three generations go head to head on a variety of topics. We have one Gen Z, yours truly, one millennial, Noe, and one BDB. Not Baby BD, Boomer. not BDB. BB, B, 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 Absolutely. We got action today. We got action today. We got some heavy hitters. Put that a discretionary one at the beginning of the video. Yeah, what we got? What we got? I think I think I think we need to start with probably the the most scandalous of them all, you know, the allegations, the sexual allegations. You got the you got the CCC. And I'm not talking about Christian Cultural Christian Center. Cultural Center. Yep, I knew that <laughs> no, was no, 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 yeah. no, 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 sir. I'm talking about Chris Cuomo and Cosby. Yeah. Andrew Cuomo, the big brother. Yeah. So technically, it's Brown, it's BCC. Cuomo probably should go first. Or... Well, uh, 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 he, he, he's back in the news. Basically, Cuomo, right? yeah, Andrew, yeah. you know, because, you know, he had to step down because of all of the allegations, the sexual allegations from staffers saying that he was inappropriate. And, you know, his colleagues, his attorney general, Letitia James, and many others really pressed him and said, listen, Andrew, or oh, Andy, you need to step down. And amidst that pressure, he did. And lo and behold, he is now in the news as a jilted a great victim, word. victim of the media, of the press, of lies, of allegations of a scheme to tear him down. And he is yet toying with the idea of getting back into the politics and running against the now governor of New Wait, York. Can he do that? Is that possible? Listen, after Trump, you can do anything you want. That's a great point. I didn't even consider that. Yeah, but I mean, since he was in charge, I don't think they would be able to stop him. It would be something different if he was actually, like, charged. Just fired, from what I understand. He wasn't fired. Right. He stepped down. That's... While the powers that be did what they did and the investigations went ahead. So while the investigations went ahead, he stepped down in order so so that the powers that to he avoid, can, yeah. yeah, because he could not govern properly while being investigated. But let's be real. You're not really getting a Cuomo out of office unless something drastic happens. I mean, at that point, this dude was like the miracle man in terms of like everything he was doing with COVID. And he was basically outshining Donald Trump drastically. And most people were looking at it like, bro, this dude should be the president. And to me, I just thought it was oh so convenient that in the midst of all of this praise, here come these random allegations. This is some diabolical scheme. I don't know. It's possible. I'm not saying that it is. I just feel like when things like this happen, it's very, like, interesting. Because I remember... Me two things started happening. Me Too started it, in 2018, 2018, 2019. Because that's a fairly recent method of the fall of a lot of celebrities, at least on the male side. You know what I'm saying? Like 
since then, it seems like anytime there's been a pattern of this rise, a peak, me too, and then just a collapse. Yeah, Letitia, Letitia is, um, she's been in politics for a long time. And the fact that she's a black woman that has risen in the ranks, because obviously we've known her since she was, you know, a, a council person in Brooklyn, back in the back when we were in church in Brooklyn. So we've known her and we've seen her rise in the ranks. So it's big. And you know, we we've we've stood behind her every step of the way with every charge that she has tried to bring against the Trump family. And Letitia is the black chick from Brooklyn that has been the attorney general the entire time during Cuomo's tenure. She right, was the right, first right. black attorney general woman, and she had made history when uh Cuomo won, and then uh, she did investigate Cuomo too. And I he, do not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the whole situation with the females, but I mean, it, it would. It was also known that you know, he's a single man in office as a dog and captain. If, yeah, I don't know if you've ever been around politicians. Any politicians that I've ever been in contact with, they've always been sleazy. Always. I've never been around a politician that I did not feel slime after <laughs> shaking their hand. Like, you know, like, like, oof. like, oof. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, still originally i thought when the allegations and stuff started popping up it felt very like i was like orchestrated I, yeah it felt very trumpish because i i was originally pointing the finger i was like this got to be a donald trump thing it's got to be because so at that trump point orchestrated the i because i knew trump didn't like the fact that he was getting so much love this dude had daily um press conferences meetings at 12 o'clock every day and people mm -hmm. like everybody was watching him joints on facebook on the news you had other countries that were reaching out to him like hey can you help us fight covid and do all this extra stuff and it was kind of like yeah nobody's trying to deal with trump we want to deal with you so it was mm -hmm. just like it just seemed too perfect and it, was, it just seemed like something trump would do and then it was just i don't know man it just seemed too and i don't subscribe to that whole maybe back in the day but in present day lifetime like i don't subscribe to that thinking of i can't say anything because this person's too powerful i feel like bro all you gotta do is get out here throw something on ig and you can tear somebody down like that so when people say that i don't really think that applies to today but many years ago yeah i definitely uh -huh. think but i think people now are too aware and there's just too much access to stuff for people to kind of like i don't think people should be afraid of something like that. I think it's way easier now than it was before. Like we've seen people get canceled off of Instagram, not even like actual news, just Instagram. But, um, juxtapose the, that part of power with the power of Bill, I mean, Pill Cosby. Let's talk about Bill Cosby. My man, W. Kamal Bell, his four part documentary was classic it was ingenious his people each person that he has had as commentators as interviewees i think he did a marvelous job showing bill's humane side and inhumane side yes no maybe so no i it's weird to say i enjoyed it but I thought it was well done for sure. And I was watching it because usually when I watch those documentaries, I'm like, oh, it's just going to be whatever. But watching it, I was just like two things that I didn't want to do. I'm not really a fan of looking back at something like in the 80s and going, oh, my gosh, I can't believe he said that. He's like, 
the way a lot of them were just like talking about it, like, oh, he said this. He was talking about this. It was like, look, yes, people talk. Yeah, he was talking about the Spanish fly and all this other stuff. And he was making jokes and all this other stuff. Don't start criticizing now because you weren't criticizing then. Don't and act like he's such a, mo- oh, he's such, you were laughing. You were making jokes, whatever. We understand that or whatever the case may be. Now, if you want to criticize, you know, what he did, um, it's not alleged anymore. I mean, he went to jail. So what he did. So like, if you want to criticize that, that's perfectly fine. But I just can't, that's the only thing that kind of annoyed me. It was just like, all right, a lot of these people are in here talking like, you see when he said this and he said this and he said this. Yeah, but like this would never fly on TV today, but it was perfectly fine back then. People watched it. People laughed. Nobody had a problem with it. I understand if you want to look at it and say, wow, I should have caught that at the time, but that's not what you're saying. You're just offering up criticism like you weren't sitting there laughing too. No, but there's a lot. I, 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 I think that there's a lot of people back then that did not um, co-sign anything that Bill Cosby did. That they were like, yo, niggas whack. Yo, fire, yeah. fire, fire. Saying that stuff on that like those video clips they had like i would never at any time of life say something like that out loud <laughs> like he was just like well you know you got to get the spanish fly and it was just like yo bro you said that on like a t- the tonight show like yeah and then you put it in the cup and then you wait for the pudding and it's just like nah bro you can't say that out loud like you got to keep those thoughts to yourself to me that's insane but then you look at a lot of the 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 people that like Mark Lamont Hill. I mean, you had the Roland Martins and stuff like that. The people that were um, being interviewed, a lot of them, like Mark Lamont Hill, is younger than me. So but he kept it real, real. I lo- like, I like watching him. I he kept Mark. it real. Yeah, you like he wasn't in a place to be like, yeah, <laughs> you know, because he was mad young. So. You, it had to be people that were in the industry back then that were, you know, that had the ability to actually say something. A lot of people weren't in the industry back then to say something. So it wasn't it like, I know D.L. Hughley always said that he was always a rapist. You know what I'm saying? He said that? D.L. Hughley always said it. But really? some people just like, never even before listened. the allegations. Some people just never listened. It was like some people always said it, it was a thing, but some people just never listened. So unless you like what you going to do, go to the police and say, I heard Bill Cosby rapes people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? I mean, <laughs> maybe it was one of those things where you don't really want to listen due to all that he's done for us as black people. You feel me? Like his contributions in entertainment were paramount for us at the time that he did them. So I guess it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, want to believe those things at that time, especially because of the light that he was in, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's just, for me, if you did it, you did it. Like, again, doesn't mean that I wouldn't watch the Cosby show. Doesn't mean that I would, wouldn't would watch a stand-up. I just feel like it was just weird for him to be on late shows or doing comedy or whatever. And just to say, it's literally like standing up and being on camera and just being like, yeah, bro. Like, it's like, Chris, if we had a conversation, I was like, yeah, bro. Yo, we going, yo, we're going to go to Columbia. Yo, make sure you get some of those pills. Cause you know, when you just, you just got to drop it in the drink. You know what I'm saying? After that, you see what's good. Like imagine saying that on television. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just weird. Yeah. Cause everybody's laughing about it in the audience. Whoever, I don't, I'm sure it wasn't Jay Leno. It was whoever, one of those older night, um, mm-hmm. um, those, uh, late night shows guys. Mm-hmm. I don't remember who he was. But to me, that's just, I guess there's a level of like narcissism in there to be able to say something like that and feel like nobody can do anything about it. But if you look at older, even older game shows and stuff like that, 
when you had like women on game shows and you had the male host, the men were pigs. It was, it was such, it was, it was, it's kind of sickening to watch now the way they would treat women and they would like literally, I was just like, this is what we was doing back in the seventies and eighties. No, and people... all of this was, it was fine. All of this was allowed. It was like, it was just like, oh, well, this is a regular Saturday. Oh, this, the price is right. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever show game show it was, the, it, it was normal. This was normalized behavior for men to treat women like objects. I mean, it's happened. I've seen it. It's very cringy. Like if I'm ever watching a show and I see something like that, I'm just like, ah, this is, it makes me uncomfortable because I've seen it on sports shows, NFL network stuff where like there's females on there that are talking and you know, they might go to like do something like, yo, you know, give him an example of this or show him what this means. And then it'll be like, all right, yeah, you do this. And it's just like, all right, bro, like you're getting a little carried away. And it's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change it because like I'm quick to cut shows off. If I don't like something, I cut it off quick, fast. I ain't watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like if stuff is just weird like that, like I can, t if I was old enough to understand, you know, what Bill Cosby might have been saying or whatever then for me, it's easy to be like, nah, I'm good. On, I'm good on that. I can't really, I can't do that. Remember that um show? Um, fi well, not remember the family feud and mm -hmm. the old, the old host, not Steve Harvey, the old host before Steve Harvey, before the what do before Steve Harvey, this guy uh, was a young girl that came out and he was just like, and what are you going to say? He was like, thank you. He was like, okay, now give me a kiss. And he, um, bent down to the little girl that he did not know the young girl that he didn't know give me a kiss and he was like and had the little the girl kiss him on the lips this old ass wrinkly ass man and give me mm, what the and then go and pat her on the butt and yeah that actually weirds me out too when i see too the little the pats on the butt because i just be like yo why are you why are you touching people? Yeah, it's weird. I mean, well, it wasn't lips like this. It was like <laughs> now she got now she got a um she got a bum bump. <laughs> right. <laughs> she got a bum bump. Uh, but Bill Cosby was very genius because, like they said in the documentary, he created a lane for black stunt men and stunt women because before him niggas was just painting their skin black <laughs> <laughs> like they were just painting their skin black and just wearing cotton what was they just dyeing black cotton <laughs> you know what I'm saying and just throwing themselves somewhere before them before bill and he's the one that was just like, no, get me somebody back. So he actually paved the way for black stunt stuntmen. But then, but one thing I can say, he was an equal opportunity um, demon. Turns out that way, because I think I was texting you when I was watching. I was just like, uh, I was getting more skeptical. I'm like, yo, all of the women that kept popping up were white. And I was just like, yo, it's only white women that he went after. Maybe he had a fetish, no doubt. And then as I continued to get through the episodes, it was like, here come the black women. And I was just like, all right, now this, not that, you know, white women's word isn't anything, but let's not act like white women don't have a history of doing such things to black men. So yes, we know, you know, Equal opportunity. It, it, it was, it, yeah. You know what and actually really got maybe me? Maybe some black men, women, honestly, didn't, maybe they didn't want to ruin a black man. Dime, dime him out. Maybe now they still wanted to protect him. Now you got to dime him out. 
if he did whatever, if he did all that stuff that they said he did, you had to have him out. What is that called when you um have sex with a dead person? Pick me, I know. You, you, you. It's it's, it's uh necrophilia. That's yeah. he he's a he has a necrophilia demon. He's a necrophiliac. Who wants to have sex with somebody that's not like you just <laughs> <laughs> that's sick that is sick uh you know the thing that actually got me it didn't really get me I it think, wasn't that <laughs> no well, it was just because i look at it like for example like people can be weird right you can be like ted bundy never feel like you know what i'm saying like kills women cuts him up and then has sex with him like you can just be wait weird he, just... he would have sex with them after he cut them up he did yeah, it all seems little... before and after like oh you ain't you ain't ever seen none of the movies yeah he's weird no i don't so, like those type okay of movies. Yeah. so to me people when they do weird stuff like that it's like all right there's just something off with you now as you watch the show and they started to bring up certain things like He's an OBGY. He's a gynecologist. And his office is in office the basement. Office is in his basement. But that didn't weird me out until it, it didn't weird me out, I would say, in the documentary. It just kind of made me think because, like, working in healthcare, I've gone to a ton of doctor's offices that were in the basement in their, of people's yeah. houses. Yeah. You know, they were nice spaces, but it was like, hey, they lived in the city and or they lived in Brooklyn or whatever, and this is just how it was set up. Mm -hmm. So it didn't. But out of it. all of the disciplines, yeah. So it was choose. just like you're putting all of that stuff together. Now he didn't ever get crazy with it, as far as I remember, or what they showed in the documentary in regards to like the way he would speak about it. A lot of mm -hmm. I remember just in my mind, I remember him always talking about you know having babies and you know reproduction stuff like that it was never uh -huh. anything like oh yeah i'm checking her or whatever or doing anything like that it was uh -huh. it never seemed that excessive uh -huh. but when you just line everything up whether it was innocent or not it just looks bad it just looks bad yeah and i, I and because of the fact that queen queen felicia was there it was just like where was queen felicia because you you see uh martin was was one of the people that he had interviewed Denise's husband that played mm. Denise's husband on the show. And he was just like, he didn't have no, um, no dressing room, no uh, trailer. He said his he was dressing like, room was, he was in, in the closet. closet. <laughs> but he like, had, but the chick that had one line, she had a whole trailer. So where was, where was, where was Felicia? She didn't notice none of these. You, I mean, I know they have them in separate places and they come on when it's their time to do their scenes and stuff. So I'm just like, maybe she wasn't around when they would, you know, bring the models and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised because I don't think she would, she's that type of woman who would just be cool with that. She ain't. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, yo, just keep her over here and let me do my thing or whatever. I, like I, I'm sure that was very strategic. Yeah, because she's not that she doesn't she's not that type of woman. And Felicia's an angel. She is. Roses, rose petals should be thrown at her feet everywhere she goes. Agreed. Yeah, she was super bad too. Petunia's was. Is yeah, I'm just right saying now. I can't can't I mean gotta have respect. You know what I'm saying? She's older now. <laughs> She's elegant now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Seasoned. Go. Seasoned is crazy. <laughs> Adobo? Cajun. Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> Woo. So, Cosby was put into jail. He only went to jail because of the fact that the new DA went against the original DA because the original DA 
that did the deposition with Cosby. He told Cosby, you can come in here and you can say whatever you want. You can say any and everything and we will not prosecute you. You will not be held accountable for anything that you do. You can tell us anything. That DA no longer worked for <laughs> <laughs> the state of Pennsylvania. And in comes the new DA. And that new DA was like, oh, DA say, what? I'm not doing it. You going to jail. Clink, clink. And then Cosby's people was just like, what? You are going against the, the, the agreement and the, the, the deal that we made with the original DA. We're going to the Supreme Court. So they went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court said, you know what? You're right. We got to go with the original deal that was made with the original DA. That's probably why that DA did that too, because if the DA, I don't know if there's documents that are signed for that, or if it's, but if I'm, I'm a, there has to be, because if it's just some word of mouth business, it's just like, no, yeah, it was, yeah. it was signed. It was signed. Yeah. So once you have something like that and they go against it, it's going to be hard to beat that. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the Supreme court said we got to go with the original DA. Hence the reason Cosby was let out of jail. So Cosby is, and his team is like, oh, we made it. We're out. He made it. He's out. Never once said that he was um, not guilty. He just got released on a technicality. He's not, he's not, not guilty. He's guilty of everything he ever, you know, but he can't be charged according to the original DA or the original deal that he, he made. But he, uh, he got his hands up in the air like, we did it. We beat him. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, like Professor, Juicy. Professor Clump. <laughs> <laughs> so he get him yes, and his team. Uh, like, came. Yes, uh, came. He came out thinking that, you know, but he's not innocent. Bill Cosby told you he wasn't. <laughs> he, just, well, like, he just he just made a good deal. When <laughs> you're old enough to understand it, like I am now, and you watch it, like I when I watched Mark Lamont Hill talk in every segment or scene that he was in, I was like, damn, that's how I feel. <laughs> like he was just saying everything that I felt, like, no, and that's I why I respected it because mm -hmm. it was real. Because he was just mm -hmm. like, damn, I didn't even notice that back then. And that's what I meant when I was saying I didn't like people who were older and were just like, oh, my gosh. She said, it's like, yo, you was there laughing and mm -hmm. yucking it up with him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear you talking about it now. Those who didn't understand. You're like, over there slapping five. You know? Yeah, like but I don't want to hear you But for us that were just like, oh, my God, I love Rudy. Because we're all like Rudy's age. You know what I'm saying? So we're like, Rudy. So we didn't know no better. We were like, baby. You know, we was over there singing the song with Rudy. And then we grow up and we was like, Dr. Huxtable is a rapist? The Spanish, I can't, yo, Mind I couldn't blown. get over the Spanish fly. A necrophiliac? Mind blown. Right. Mind blown. I, I just see, imagine Did you that. see the part, did you see the part when he was doing the, um, the interview with, um, Camille? And, and he was just like, I want to make sure you cut that part out. Oh, yeah. He had and Camille, Camille's face. She because she was <laughs> and as soon as he's just like, I want to make sure you cut the Camille's face changed. Like she's been here before. You always know when a woman know. Real, real. Yeah, it's weird. It was it was interesting. Just imagine being on like Jimmy Fallon. Be like, yeah, we're going to drug these chicks when we get to. <laughs> Do you see how much TV has changed? Very much. To um, women that know. Raise our glasses. Is that a cheers? My boy, a Chris. Cheers? My boy, oh. Chris. They've been trying to get him ever since that Riri. 
But Chris, number one, you running up in these chicks raw for you to be telling niggas to get a plan B. You don't know this heifer. You don't know this heifer. What did you tell her how to get a plan B for? That ain't contraception. You running up in chicks raw in 2022? <gasps> You know, these dudes is like your magic beat it in the early 90s. You good now. <laughs> Did magic beat it though? If he didn't, then I'm he has to at least by now. I mean, they got medicine now that's just like if you're undetected, you can no longer transmit. So if they got that now, magic been beating it. You're right. And they got multiple drugs now. So dudes is probably out there like, bruh, I don't care. <laughs> Whisk away. All right, so I'm gonna be the chick. Y'all could be um, Chris. Cause it seems like she the only one texting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, <sighs> I remember seeing a clip of it and I was just like, yo, at some point you just gotta understand when a dude's over it. Yo, I ain't saying that you know, like I'm trying to be your girlfriend or nothing, but I'm just saying I'm trying to trying to get that thing again. Mm -hmm. All right, if you're throwing it at a dude and he ain't responding, stop. And when he's not responding, that doesn't mean okay. Now let's accuse him of rape and sue him for twenty million. Who you think you are, Chelsea Clinton? A very arbitrary number. <laughs> Her lawyer said, plop. <laughs> <laughs> her lawyer said, plop. Because her lawyer, she went to her lawyer, and her lawyer was like, Chris Brown? <laughs> then Chris Brown released the audio and, and the text. Her, her lawyer was just like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like, really? I was glad he yeah, had his right. receipts. Everybody don't be keeping their receipts. And he was, keeps his receipts. He was definitely, you know, he looked like he was all the way ready to get on his IG live. If he was like, say something now, niggas. <laughs> 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 like, he just kept posting stuff. Yeah, like who I told, wants some? Who wants some? <laughs> he was like, wait till y'all see what's coming next. I was just like, yeah, this dude is mad hype right now. What, He's what like, was, um, what exhibit say in um, 8 Mile? Who wants some? Chris was sitting here. He was rocking. He was waiting. Because this has happened to him so many times before. He had voice messages and text messages. Yes. No way me. Like, no, no. it's over. She but that's said, also what I mean by missing you. Yeah, that's what I mean by it's easy to go go after a dude. Nobody knows who this chick is, but she was literally trying to get she was on the verge of getting 20 million dollars. If he didn't have those imagine he was just he lost his phone or deleted or whatever, this chick would be on her way to 20 million dollars right now. So in today's day and age when they say, "Oh, she didn't want to say anything because this person's too powerful." Nah, bro. And he said, and he literally said, media outlets, I want you to have that same energy that you had when you was releasing the story saying that I raped Shorty. I want you to have that same energy saying that this chick is a bird and she was just trying to get, but they still say post rape accusers. No, she's a liar. Mm -hmm. she's a bird and we need to know who she is because if you that but big bad bold to try to ruin my credibility and ruin my career <laughs> like sc screw face and mark for death you need to be big bad bold enough to show your face you want 20 million dollars like where you even get that figure from is they were that like, all? Is that they all were pretty much like it's worth 20 million? They were like, look, we don't want to bankrupt him. 
Let's just get a nice round figure that we know he can pay out for sure. She said, I want to blank you tonight at midnight. LOL. It's a random time. I don't see how that's funny. Midnight? LOL. Inside joke, maybe? Yeah. Possibly. Uh, yeah. Is it New Year's? You were yeah. honestly the best D I've had. That's cat. <laughs> Crying That's cat. emojis. That's cat. I just want it again. It's Chris Brown. What are you gonna say? Yeah, I could. If I was Chris Brown, I'd have been like, I'm Chris Brown. Right. It's, what am I gonna be fifth on the list? It's Chris Brown? Like, come on now. And put Darrell from across the street above Chris Brown? No. <laughs> no. Well, Chris came out and said, no more dragging me through the mud. Clearly, you all can see the cap. Now, let's see if the media will keep that same energy they had trying to destroy me to run the real story. Me and my team are taking legal action on this situation, as he should. Hashtag you don't play with team people Breezy. lives like that. Thanks, Team Breezy. Can he sue her and get money? Yes. I mean, it if she has money. Defamation, that's that defamation of character. Now, she could say that she hilarious. ain't got it. She could put five <laughs> on it like set, set the entertainer. I ain't got it, dog. You know, but that's her fault. She going to be um in, ar in arrears <laughs> like a mofo. <laughs> She should have thought about that before she went and lied on somebody and accused them of rape. There should be, you know what? I think there is something. Like if he was to sue her, you know, and win for, let's say, oh, we're suing you for, you know, half a million dollars. How do they get half a million dollars from somebody who probably doesn't have half a million dollars? Does she end up having to they can, pay they into can that? Garnish. They can garnish. Anything, like where, anything, whatever that you get. got, we take it. But she, did, not home. only did you say that he he raped you, you said that he drugged you. You oh, said I didn't that see he the drug did, part. I didn't know that he drugged her at a yacht party and raped her. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's. I mean, for me, I guess I have a different feeling about it because I've kind of been in that situation before, before. <gasps> stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of up for debate should it be guilty until proven innocent or innocent until proven guilty because i think now in this day and age it goes straight to oh he did it but I, it's i think back in the day it was more like he didn't do it but now in cancel culture, it has transitioned to, oh, he's absolutely guilty. He's guilty until they say that he didn't do it.